if you're going to overcome sinful patterns, John says, be on the lookout for deceivers. I wish I could jump from here into a pulpit tirade against the world. But that's not what John's talking about. John is talking about church folk. More specifically, he's talking about teachers in the church. who stand in pulpits in the name of God, but at the same time would lead you astray for the will of God for your life. He says, let no one deceive you, first of all, by what they say. Let no one deceive you by what they say. Don't be caught up, church, and how eloquent the preacher is. Don't, don't get caught up in that. Don't, don't get up, caught up in how profound and how deep and how smart the preacher may seem to be. The power of preaching rests in the content of the message, not the style of the messenger. I wish I had a praying church. What, what matters most about the preacher or teacher is whether or not what he says lines up with the word of God. And John is saying, be careful of anyone who would deceive you into thinking that Grace means you can live any way you want to live. <laughs> Beware. Don't let anyone deceive you by what they say. But also, he says, don't let anybody deceive you by what they do. Because you do know, church, the talk, is the easy part. I say I'm going to get up and go running every morning. <laughs> but just something gets in the way when it's time to turn words into action. Church, anybody can talk to talk. John says, don't, don't let anybody deceive you by words that don't line up with behavior. That's why a long time ago I just learned, I'm glad you're here. I praise God for your presence and participation in worship, but I'm, 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 I'm old enough now that I'm not impressed by what I see on Sunday morning. Anybody can act spiritual for 90 minutes. You, you can come in here and you could come in here and you can come in here this morning and never be gone to church before and just, you know, just sit and look around. And you'll know when to stand up. Just watch everybody else. You'll know when to sit down. You'll You'll know when to clap. In fact, somebody may tell you, clap your hands, and you'll know when to clap. And from all of our indication, you can look like you in the family. But John says, just the profession doesn't make you right with God. 